All clear? Good. Hello. Welcome to Farnley, the home of Douglas Crawford. <laughs> Perhaps a word or two of introduction. Douglas Crawford was born in 1904. He was the eldest son of Archibald Crawford, who started the Crawford Biscuit Factory. Biscuit! 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 All right! Calm down! Good grief! You can both have a biscuit later. Biscuit! 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 If you behave better. Right. Now, where... Uh, oh, yes. The Crawford family Crawford. set up the Crawford factory in Liverpool in 1897. Now, Douglas Crawford was a very successful businessman. He was also a soldier with the Territorial Army, a magistrate, a great supporter of local causes, and even Lord Lieutenant of Merseyside. <laughs> yes, indeed. One of Merseyside's best-loved sons. I remember him saying to me once... Oh, who left that scruffy lion lying around? Will you stop that? Now, Mr Crawford was a very busy man, but he made time for art. In fact, the money he made from biscuits... Biscuit! 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 What? The money he made from his business allowed him to collect his favourite pieces of Chinese art, the enamels called cloisonne. French! An ancient art that reached China and was perfected there in the 15th century. It became a beautiful art form favoured by emperors, and in the West too, it was seen as precious, which made it very attractive to the wealthy collectors in Liverpool, like Mr Crawford who appreciated delicate ornaments. And he's part of a long tradition of Liverpool collectors of Chinese art. Together with people like Lord Lever and Jane Alice Waitman, he helped to form Liverpool's view of China as a beautiful and exotic place. Which, of course, it is. I mean, I came from China, so... So even the Qing dynasty could get it wrong? Right, that's it. I'm going to come over there and... Shh, everyone, the door. Enjoy the museum. And don't forget to have a look at Mr. Crawford's collection.